you ask. Daja how? Really bitch disturbing my sleep. No, don't go. Daja how? Holy crap. Where do I even begin? I love this movie so much. The effects, the stories, the Chinese references, everything was so <laughs> Chef's kiss. I was so inspired by this movie. I literally wanted to paint everything. Everything. But because I'm a poor bitch and I don't know where to get the official poster from, I'm just going to make one myself. Don't get me wrong. The poster is almost perfect. But if it were me, as a Chinese, I would have put more red inside the painting and a bit more Chinese aesthetic. Again, okay, if it were me, because I'm not a professional. I'm just a girl with no friends and decided locking myself in a room and painting was better than going out to socialize. Plus there's COVID, so yes, that's going to be my excuse for not wanting to go out and socialize. Okay, like Shufang? the job done but they did miss the mark a bit here and there especially the idioms and you know how much we chinese love our idioms can you new be and the references to chinese culture were really on point like really really on point like i was really surprised that they referenced the hungry ghost festival it's quite a big thing in, in Chinese culture, like we even have it in Singapore, so I'm like unexpected, but I like it. And the mystical creatures. Woo! The like, oh my god, they're so cool. And the long, the long, the long was so cool. It was long and majestic. And when Xia Ling was riding it, oh my god, I got goosebumps. Okay, imagine this. Go from being abandoned to running your own underground fighting ring to riding a goddamn dragon to finally being the big boss of a centuries old organization of your co ass father that did not acknowledge you and refused to teach you how to fight. Speaking of acknowledging fathers, which is something that I don't have either. Sun Chi had it pretty bad. Dude had literally no childhood at all. What did he spend his childhood on? Punching a pole and learning how to assassinate the people who killed his mom? That's his childhood. That's so sad. The present day equivalent of an Asian having that is just like playing the violin 24 7 and, and having mass tuition for the rest of the other time. I, I, I'd rather have mass tuition actually. I, I don't want to. Punch a pole to my hands. Oh. Which is probably why he went on and had a chew and calm life with Katie, like very chill leg. Because there are two paths when you go down this kind of route with very strict parents that gave you like no childhood at all. Either become really successful and, and being the exact child that your parents always wanted you to be or which is most of the time you become a total disappointment and were not able to live up to their expectations which is me. Probably you or probably some Asian you know is suffering from this. You thought Shang-Chi was bad so I didn't, can't even remember her mom man and, and like her dad was a total asshole and didn't acknowledge her and refused to let her learn how to fight. Come on! 
Speaking of acknowledging fathers, oh my god, who blames their seven-year-old child for not being able to beat down the gangsters that came to fight your wife? He's seven, bro. He can't do shit. You don't blame a child for that. You blame yourself for, for, for I don't know what the heck you're doing. But sir, do not blame your seven-year-old child for not being able to fight a bunch of gangsters and save your wife. Okay, yeah, I know Manchu is really hot and the whole internet is simping over him. But honestly, he was a shitty dad and generally a bad person. And don't argue with me that he was not a bad person. He was a freaking warlord. He came and he's conquered like a good majority of history and he's centuries over. He manipulated the history of the world. He's a bad guy. I, I don't care. Just because he's a dude does not give you the right to make excuses for him. slightly weak for but don't neglect your children but yeah I, I kind of feel bad for him he didn't really have a chance to properly redeem himself and I do feel bad for him only when he was about to die he realized oh shit oh, like only when he was about to die and then he's like okay I regret all my life decisions like it sucks I because I really would have enjoyed if he, he sat down with Sang Chi and Xia Ling and like talk to each other and like have a nice wholesome Chinese New Year dinner with them like ugh, it sucks, it really sucks but at least we can take a little solace in knowing that somewhere out there in the multiverse Yi Ling is still alive Man Chu didn't go all crazy and evil again Xia Ling still trained with Sang Chi cause you know Yi Ling wouldn't have tolerated Man Chu's BS about not letting their daughter train Asian moms are scary okay really scary. Even if she doesn't have powers, you know she would have whacked his ass into letting Xia Ling train with Sang Chi. And then after training, they will all go and have mooncakes during the mid-autumn festival. And yeah, uh, it's kind of sad. Yeah, it would have been nice. It would have been nice. We will never get to see this What If episode, but somewhere in the multiverse it's happening, okay guys? Somewhere. Somewhere. Proud of it. 
there was actually a point of time where I almost gave up. I almost gave up. But I think it's a really good thing that I didn't. So, yay. I'm really proud. Okay, so overall, watching Shang-Chi makes me swell up with pride. And I'm so glad to see there is Chinese representation in the MCU. I really cannot wait to he joins up with the new Avengers team. So the final art piece is going up on my Instagram. I'll leave, I'll leave it here for you to follow. And if you think I did a good job, leave a like. That's all I have for you guys. And I'll see you the next time. Bye! Okay, can thanks, bye! Oh my god, I'm so stressed. I can't paint the skin. Legit, I need like my ancestors. I, I need that! Oh this my god, I'm so stressed, I can't, I can't paint it! He looks like... Art delirium at its oh finest. God, I'm so dead! This is all I know, it's all I can't paint my own skin tone.